Good morning, it's Tom Sohn, and I just wanted to share a quick tip if you're considering buying a grade two listed building, whether that's to live in or for an investment, I just wanna give you a couple of little tips and things that you should watch out for when it comes to buying it and the process of purchasing. Uh, first of all, definitely, definitely, definitely buy or invest in a full structural survey from a local chartered surveyor. That's 100 trillion, billion, million percent definitely do it. Because with the grade two listed buildings, most of the time they're a lot older, of course. So you need to know what defects there might be that you might not pick up with uh, by just looking at it and doing a viewing. So definitely invest in a full structural survey. So a good local charter surveyor will be able to help you out with that. You'll normally spend between five and 700 quid. You might be able to get it a bit cheaper, but generally speaking, don't go cheap, go for a proper one. Um, between five and six, five, six, 700 quid should do it. The next thing is make sure you use a local lawyer, a local solicitor, conveyancing firm. The reason I say that is because if you go um, for a national law firm which provide conveyancing, it's difficult to get hold of them, it's difficult to talk to them on a daily basis. You don't get to know the actual conveyancers and solicitors that are working on your case. So when you're dealing with something a bit more complex like a grade two listing building where there will be restrictions um, on what you can do with the property and what you can't do with the property and so on, then I always think a good local lawyer who is accessible and uh, available for you to discuss certain matters with is far better and far more efficient. Now, the other problem is that I always think that these uh, remote law firms that provide conveyancing, they're very difficult to, for other agents and uh, mortgage advisors, anybody helping you in the process of purchasing the property, they just they just become more difficult. I always trust a local law firm. I never go national. I'd certainly never go for an online law firm. You might have some good stories about online law firms, but I've dealt with hundreds of sales and hundreds of purchases where they've used online law firms or very remote law firms to do the conveyancing and it just ends up in difficulties and problems can't contact them their call center don't know who you are and when you speak to someone you speak to someone different every time it just gets messy ask any estate agent in the country whether you should use a local law firm or an online law firm and they'll give you one answer. I'll let them decide on that. Anyway, so definitely use a local law firm. They will be able to describe to you exactly what restrictions there are on the property so that when you do eventually own it, you don't come up with any nasty surprises of what you can't do with the property and what you can do. Now you can look up those restrictions because you can look up the actual listing normally on the council's website, on your local council's website. Uh, and it will show you there what restrictions there are. But sometimes all of this is legal jargon. So I just think, look, you're paying for a solicitor anyway. You might as well get them to, to interpret that for you so that it's clear and no confusion, therefore no surprises in the future. And the last thing I wanna tell you is take a local builder round to the property as well and make sure it's a builder that you trust and that you know that comes with recommendations, that does local work. And the best place to get local contractors is estate agents and letting agents. They are the number one place to get approved, trusted, reliable, reputable local contractors. Why? Because look, letting agents, they'll have hundreds of properties that they manage and therefore they're trying to uh, please their clients and service their clients in the best way that they can. So they will only work with contractors that come with the correct qualifications, the correct insurance. They're approved, they're trusted, they've worked with them before, their quality of work is good. Because otherwise, the letting agent's clients will have a backlash towards the letting agent if the work is shoddy. So take a local build around there because also, yes, you're gonna get a structural survey on this property, but the builder will give you a different perspective. The builder will show you what 
uh, repairs, maintenance, ongoing, um, ongoing issues that property may have from an improvement perspective, a maintenance perspective, repairing and all of those things. And the builder will be able to tell you, look, I advise that you get this wall sorted or you take care of that. This building is gonna be susceptible to this and might have that problem, damp and timber in the future. And um, when you're decorating the property, what sort of, I guess, advice the builder would give you. The builder will give you a local, uh, sorry, a, a different perspective on that. So then once you've got your full structural survey, you've got your complete and clear outline of all the restrictions and legalities with the grade two listing, and you've got, I guess, more of a, um, a personal advisor in the builder telling you to watch out for this, this will need work, this will be something that will keep happening, this is a risk in the future. That's when you can settle into that property, whether you're living in it or renting it out or doing it up or flipping it, that's when you know you've got a good property. So I hope that helps. Don't avoid grade two listing buildings. They're fantastic. And sometimes because of all the restrictions that there may be on a property, you can pick up really good bargains because they're, they're difficult to sell unless you're selling them in the right way. So, so I hope that helps. Look, if you know anybody that's trying to buy a grade two listing building or you're looking at one yourself then let me know give us a message because i think grade two listing buildings are cracking cracking and you can definitely pick them up for a good price so have a great day everybody and i will speak to you very soon